We yearn to explore distant worlds, far beyond our pale blue dot. Like the great discoverers of old, we travel into lands yet to be known and write stories yet to be told. ancestors dreamed of touching the stars, and now we shall make that dream a reality. We shall stand upon distant worlds and witness a new sunrise. It's time to venture into the unknown. Explorator by Augusta Stella Foundries. Hello everyone who likes to explore the world and the solar system and the universe in style. I am Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths Weird and Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the custom trailer you probably just saw. And welcome to the Explorator class airship, the ASF Explorator by Empress Azusa. Also known as Zuzu, valued Patreon patron in the Patreon uh, of this channel. My goodness, I'm tripping over myself. But anyway, this is a very fun and interesting thing. And by the way, uh, it's um, not really a guaranteed thing that uh, being in the... that being a patron, um, like, gets you weird and wonderful videos of your stuff. It's just I'm more likely to see it if you share it in the Patreon Discord because... I can't look everywhere at once, and that's just the thing. But anyway, uh, Zuzu has made quite the interesting airship here. This is very much an aesthetic build, and also, I guess, kind of a tech demo build, really, because it's got a lot of fun and interesting features for a start, lots of internals, and lots of buttons and lots of heads-up displays and all that kind of thing. For instance, uh, one thing I've managed to figure out just... Um, before I started recording here, is that uh, this thing can land, and it basically has an automatic landing function. So, let's turn this camera on, and we've got a thing, we've got a video screen on a piston uh, that brings that up, and let's turn the back cam on. Uh, auto altitude, we can turn that on, and we can set our gears down, so if you see out here, gears are currently, oh my goodness, and gear down, we should probably do that. And I seem to have actually initiated the landing sequence already. Whoopsie daisy. And down we go. Very slowly, we're going to extend our feet and do that. I'm not sure how I did that. It is rigged up to the tertiary drive. Um, so, um, yeah, we can take off again if we set the tertiary drive. So, on the top uh, left, you'll see R and F there. Uh, we should be able to do it. So, while we're landing... And you can see this landing camera over here, it's uh, showing us uh, the view of the ground. Are we there yet? We are almost there. Let's look at these feet. There we go. Landed. So yeah, Zuzu is very keen on breadboard and all that kind of thing. So uh, that is a uh, that is definitely a feature. And I believe if we do this. Yep, auto altitude on, we are taking off again, and we can gear up, and the pistons retract into the hull, they do clip a little bit, but it's okay, and we can, let's go here, back cam off, drop that, and landing cam off, drop that, so lots of ACBs, lots of, um, lots of bread, lots of interesting things around here. Uh, you'll notice that this doesn't have any 
kind of like behavior AI at all. This thing runs entirely on bread, which does mean un annoyingly you can't use fleet move to order it around to show things off, but that's okay. Um, let's do a tour of the internals because that's fun. This is an actual heads up display, by the way, so um, this is something that uh, Azusa figured out uh, some time ago is how to use bread to do this, and I, for the love of it, for the love of everything, uh, could not replicate this if my life depended on it. So please don't threaten me with death. Here's the bread, and here's the hologram projectors that do stuff, and basically uh, it's all this kind of thing. Lots of math, and I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I couldn't figure this out. So if you want to, if you know how to reverse engineer bread, and if you want a literal heads-up display, uh, this is a great uh, opportunity for that. So let's turn the weapons off, because that's probably a good idea. I'm just going to spawn in, oh, I don't know, an atlas over there, 2,000 meters over there, and you'll see over here on the HUD, you've got this actual moving dot over here. Little blinking thing, and you'll see, hang on, let's actually pop down here. Actually, wow, it vanished. No, it didn't. There it is. There's the atlas over there. It's doing things. And uh, this thing also has hidden weapons, which uh, do clip something uh, fierce. So if I destroy the atlas, you'll notice that uh, there's a pair of cram cannons and a uh, sabo spitting APS that pop out the bottom of this. So weapons are still off. Uh, let's spawn in the atlas again. Ta-da! Hidden weapons! They do spawn. They spawn out like that. Uh, this thing is not super good at shooting at things uh, above it, I have to say. Although it does have a particle cannon right there. Well, let's let's see the particle cannon pop up. Whoop! There it goes. And these are missile interceptors, by the way, controlled uh, by ACBs. Uh, let's actually turn the weapons. Oh my goodness! You are flying super low. It also has a whole bunch of remote guided missiles, I should say. So, uh, yep, here they go. Very nicely decoed, uh, remote guided missiles. I need to steal the deco off this. Holy bananas. Woo, baby. Is that AI dead already? Nope, it isn't. Kablooey. You know what would be really fun? Incendiary uh, particle cannons. I think that would be pretty cool. And yeah, these are incendiary missiles as well. Wow, the game is lagging all of a sudden. What has happened? Oh, you have flopped um, onto the ground, haven't you? Like I said, this is an aesthetic build, not really a combat build, so... Uh, gonna need you, my friend, to get back to the altitude you're supposed to be in. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know what would be a good idea? Uh, let's uh, just keep the landing gear extended, shall we? And auto altitude. There we go. There we go. For demonstration purposes, we will keep the landing gear extended. What else can we talk about here? Well, there's hidden weapons. Oh, the uh, I believe the crams are also uh, incendiary, so in case anyone's wondering. So the internals look something like this. This has fully walkable interiors, by the way, or at least so close to fully walkable that they might as well be fully. That looks like... Whoop! That is... Let's see here... That is... Let's see here. That is... Whoops, reconfigure loadout. It's hardener. Yeah, there's these... This is API. AP incendiary crams. Uh, mostly probably for coolness factor. I'm... Like... One, now that the hype has died down about uh, incendiary stuff, I gotta say, it's not generally as good as uh, other options because it does a lot of damage, but it does it slowly, so not ideal. Also, rather plain on the outside, but just plain and simple. I do like it. The internals are uh, pretty well thought out. There's a lot of room in here, and um, I guess it's like prioritizing certain bits. So you'll see this table's here. There's a star map. Yeah, let's see there. That's Sol, Alpha Centauri. So the whole theme of this is, as you could probably guess, is an exploration ship. And there's an adventure bell. You could take this into the adventure if you dared. And there's the logo. 
And let's just go on a full tour of the internals as much as I can. Ha! Huh. I appear to have phased through the deck. That was not part of the plan. Uh, let's hop back here and try that again. Let's go over here. Okay, what the hell? Oh, right, I'm running into a light switch. There we go. No worries, let's turn the UI off. Alright, so this time, don't phase through the deck. Don't warp physics, please. Alright, so another bit of... This is the cargo hold, by the way. There's all kinds of bits hidden around there. I think there's another bit hidden around here. Yes, there is. Lockers and stuff. Uh, but this thing has actual functional elevators, which is absolutely grand. You can call the elevator, and it pops up like so. While I'm waiting for the elevator, I'm just going to do this. Hello, elevator. Ta-da! And now, turn the UI back on. We can select bottom floor, middle floor, top floor. I believe we're on the top floor, so let's go to the middle floor. It's a little bit janky because this is from the depths. This is uh, still made in Unity, so you can... You better believe there's going to be a little bit of jank. We've got the infirmary. The infirmary here. We've got... looks like... What is that, an x-ray machine? We've got beds. We've got uh, things which I hope do not go up your bum, because that'll be bad. That'll be uncomfortable. And we've got a water feature here, just because, why not? Uh, crew quarters. So this is basically equal combination of, like, ex uh, exploring aircraft, uh, but also a freaking hotel. Although the crew are uh, quite cramped. Hopefully this thing is mostly automated. Here is the turlet. And that is a shower, by the looks of it, or a vacuum tube for turds. Nice sink, nice thing there. Also, uh, it is recommended that you get a um, mod with this. Uh, Zuzu recommends the Better Chunks mod, just to make things look better. And here we got another toilet and another shower. We got a table. This is the rear of the craft, by the way. It's a... Uh, Pretty sweet. It's a nice, um, I guess d this is the dining room, actually. I believe the kitchen is over here. Yep, kitchen. All right, we got a sink. We got a bench. We got stoves. We got uh, cupboards full of yummy, yummy stuff. Hope that's enough kitchen for everybody. Here's another toilet. Because uh, toilets are good. And what is here? More crew quarters. Probably the same as the other crew quarters. Oh no, these are different crew quarters, probably for higher ranking people, because it's double beds. Double beds for the purposes of uh, more than one person. Oh nope, that's a toilet with two sinks. You can wash both hands at the same time. Truly revolutionary technology. Okay, what's this? This is the elevator. You can call the elevator here. Call the elevator there. Oh, here's a fun bit. Right, so planet Uranus, visited year 2027, two years from now. This thing's from the future, did you know? And what's over here? We've got the moon Europa, visited year 2025, also the future. Man, this thing's probably already being built. <gasps> it has been built, oh my god. All right, planet Venus, visited year 2030. That's exactly what Venus looks like. And here we have Mars, 2026. Also, if you're wondering, this is where the advanced cannon is hiding out. And it is like so. And it's got a lot of stuff in there. And it just pops out the bottom like so. No problem. No problem at all. And what else can we do here? Here is maintenance. And here you actually get to look directly at uh, the custom jets keeping this thing up in the air. It's pretty good. Same thing over here. Maintenance. Get to fix the custom jets whenever you like. Presumably when they are damaged. There's crew quarters. Uh, we need to go down. So we can call that. It comes up. I believe... Is this the middle floor we're on? Hold on. Let's go bottom floor. There's a cool thing you can do here. There's an airlock. I want to show you... There it is. There's the airlock. I think that's it anyway. Uh, here we go. Open airlock. I believe we can... Right, let's close the airlock. Hope everyone's suited up. And elevator down. And here we are. We've made planet fall, people. That's actually pretty well measured out. Like, uh, 
exactly hits the ground exactly. Let's go back up it. Whoopsie daisy. Let's go back up into the shed. Too much. Come on, there we go. And elevator up. Nice light right here. Oh, lovely. All right, and open airlock. And close airlock. Like really, like. It's getting to the point there, if you uh, make the right mods for FTD, you could make an entirely different game uh, just using the assets of this. Like, you know, something like, I don't know, Space Engineers, but better, I guess? I kid. Right, here's the lockers, here's mannequins. Presumably, these are stand-ins for spacesuits. Yeah, EVA suits. Uh, I forget what EVA stands for. Um, environment, uh, variously, uh, aardvark. That's, that's probably it. Uh, elevators over here. Alright, dining room, we've seen that. Have, I, have we seen everything? I don't know. I think there's... Is there more upstairs? We've been upstairs. Guest suite! We haven't seen this. Check it out. Guests! Not only are we exploring planets, we are funding the expeditions with rich people. Oh, that is a fat king-size bed. I like it. Neat, 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 neat. Lovely, lovely. I would travel on this thing. If I wasn't scared of space, I would, uh, I would do here. Once again, two sinks. You could wash both hands, or possibly one hand and one foot at the same time. That's how it works. Do not disagree with me. And that's presumably standing in for a suit. Suit, 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 suit. And there's the cargo hold. Here we are, and back to the bridge. I believe that's everything. If uh, it isn't, then, well, I'm going to be very embarrassed. Uh, but I've shown... Let's... What else can we do here? Let's... Let's take off, shall we? Have I done this? Why is this... Trying to elevate? It shouldn't be. Right, let's go here. Let us go auto altitude. And gear up. Ta-da! Taken off. Also, shout out, Zuzu's just released another uh, craft up on the workshop. Uh, similar theme to this. Probably similar tricks uh, hidden in it. Uh, let's just shrink all the blocks again. Let's go over the internals. Also, I want everyone to congratulate uh, Azusa. Uh, because normally she makes absolutely gigantic things, uh, but instead... Uh, she's uh, put her terrifying uh, talents uh, to making things which are friggin' good. That's a lot of chairs. So many chairs. Alright, let's go here and let's just look at this. And oh yeah, it's explosive and incendiary. Remote guidance. I gotta play with remote guidance a bit more. I feel I miss out on that. And yeah, so there's uh, lots of things in here. Lots of things. And honestly, really, just for the sake of, like, um, the functioning elevators, I would recommend taking a look at this. Uh, combat-wise, it's not great. Uh, this thing, I don't know, is kind of... I don't know, I think it can beat the Megalodon if it gets lucky shots in, but, like, it's kind of touch and go there. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, lots of clever stuff. It's, like, it's the kind of thing that you build... That you build for fun, and once you build it, it's, a, I guess, an artwork more than an engineering piece. Even though there is actually a hell of a lot of engineering in it. Oh, this is, this is Tetris. This is Tetris I can get down with. I believe these are belt feds. Are they belt feds? I think, yep, they are belt feds. They are belt feds. This thing has a rate of fire like, uh, like, wow. So, now, I'm actually going to extend the landing gear just to be safe. Because we don't want to smash ourselves on the ground. And I'm going to spawn in over there in that direction. I'm going to spawn in at crossbones. Why not? And we'll see this thing pirouette around. Captain! Target on the horizon! And there's that absolute river of Sabo. Just, uh... Whee! And kasploosh. And incendiary. As you do. And looking over here, we are turning around. There's even a little visual representation of the ship. It's pretty good. So yeah, that's the Explorator. The... what was the letters? The ASF Explorator. 
I like this thing. It's full of, like, neat tricks. So, uh, thank you, Empress Azusa, for sharing this on the workshop. Lots of fun things in here. Are we going to belly flop onto the ground? I hope not. That would be bad. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Yes, breadboard has saved it. And thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Weird and Wonderful. Farewell.